Hello everyone, and welcome to your late arrival in your You Pick Tuesday lineup. Kenneth Wheeler, a.k.a. Flex Wheeler, 1997 Arnold versus Dorian Yates, 1997. Now, this is an interesting situation. As we all may or may not know, Flex Wheeler placed second to Dorian Yates in 1993, way back in 93, and then he really wasn't in the picture again until 1998 when Dorian left. He was totally absent from that, from 97 altogether. So if he had have brought that 97 or maybe 98 package, Olympia package, which he did bring here, a fantastic package at the Arnold Classic in 97, if he brought this package... Would he have defeated Nasser al Sambadi, who he did defeat, food for thought, at the Arnold Classic, who placed second to Dorian? So if that was the case, it would have been him versus Dorian. Could he have defeated Dorian? Very pretty physique, very aesthetically pleasing, and I think that would be drawing this out from, from Dorian Yates, the unaesthetic, pleasing lines, things of that nature of Dorian Yates. I think that would bring that out tenfold. For sure, for sure. But anyway, guys, we have a, a definite conditioning edge as far as Dorian, as far as the back shots were concerned, but we don't have a rear uh, standing relaxed. So let's go right into the poses. Front double bicep. I say generally, darn near all of the time, that you can't judge a bodybuilding competition after the first pose. I usually always say that because if a pose is so dominant... Well, you got to see the other poses first, right? Before you make your total decision. Well, in a situation like this, this could very well make my decision. Dorian Yates, both of his arms. His right arm too. His right arm too. But in particular, that left arm. That left arm is not what you would call a bodybuilding arm. This would be... With all due respect to Dorian Yates, one of the greatest of all time, for sure. But when I, to, to, to sound like Sean Ray, who, you know, he calls it like it is, and he gets criticism from that. But I will probably go on record here and say, this is the worst arm that I've ever seen on the Olympia lineup for, say, the top 10 lineup. Or maybe even darn near any bodybuilder from the 90s, Till today. I don't think I've seen a worse arm. And that is not a fault of Dorian's genetics, things of that nature. He was injured. He was injured. He tore his, his triceps gone too. So it's an injury. So I'm not saying the guy has a terrible physique, things of that nature, but he was not. Also, his midsection, he was bloated. Louis Marco said that he was a hot mess. And when he said that, it stuck out in my mind. He looks like a hot mess, guys. Flex Wheeler looks like a dream come true in this shot. What an aesthetically pleasing pose. Man, oh man, oh man. Let's go through the shots. Dorian Yates, he's going to get an easy win in this shot, right? Well, Flex Wheeler looks pretty darn good, guys. Dorian is winning in the lats. It's how he has, you know, he's, he's figured out a, the perfect way to hit this shot. Not only that, but his lats, monstrous, monstrous. And they're still, even in this version, they, they show that he probably still would get a victory. Flex Wheeler's midsection, so much tighter, so much smaller. Aesthetically pleasing. The arms, of course, the framework of this shot. And he has an X factor in those quads as well. Much superior to Dorian Yates. Massive, yet smooth teardrops. Massive teardrops. But when you look at Flex Wheeler, I mean, the, the feathering in his quads... But still, but still, I don't want to ruffle any feathers of you Dorianites. But come on, guys. There's a lot of Flex Wheeler fans. Is that a, is that a, do I coin that phrase? Flex Wheeler fans? <laughs> anyway, Flex fans. There's a lot of Flex fans as well. And I'm sure that they would, uh, they'd want to let you guys down gently. And remind you of that bicep, tricep in that first pose. Ladies and gentlemen... I apologize. Go right into the first, and I guess we have a Christmas tree comparison. I will, I'll, let, I'll let the cat out of the bag. But we have no rear lat spread. And I'm not going to go and use a different version of Flex Wheeler. 
but the 97 Arnold's Classics. Not many pitchers, not many pitchers, but this is You Pick Tuesday, not Fan Request Friday. I gotta say, Flex Wheeler's conditioning's pretty good for Flex. For Flex. Dorian Yates, he's always a stone. He's a piece of granite. He's a hunk of metal. But, I mean, come on, guys. Look at the arm difference. You gotta face it. This is bodybuilding, for sure. But I think with today's little punks like me, I guess you could say, or more more notably, the Louis Marcos, he'd really draw this out. And I don't think the judges would be able to get away with it, to be honest with you. The whole bubble gut fiasco, Sean Roden interrupted uh, Phil Heath's reign. I don't think that would have happened in the in the 90s. I think they would have just went ahead with it and continued on with the bubble gut fiasco. But they couldn't get away with it, so, you know, Sean Roden. But either way, guys, there is definitely a, a, a an argument that says Dorian Yates is far superior. Now, this is the Christmas tree pose. And, of course, Dorian's winning this one. It's his shot. Look at the Christmas tree. Even in the glutes, things of that nature. These two dudes built very different. I had to revert to the 93 Olympia pitchers to really size them up. And Dorian's back is, is a whole lot longer. And Flex is a longer-legged individual. Nice Latin searchings for Flex. But make no mistake about it, guys. Dorian Yates' conditioning is far superior. Let's have a look at the last two shots. We do have an abs and thigh and a most muscular. And the abs and thigh. There can be no argument, I would say. Now, lat for lat, Dorian always is going to be a champion in that right. And I often say Flex Wheeler doesn't have the most pungent, I guess you could say, uh, V-taper. But he makes up for it with the quads and the abs. Top 10, for sure. Any lineup, any year, any decade. But Dorian Yates, here in 97, prior to this, his abs and thigh was fantastic. His waistline was a lot smaller. Maybe more separation in the quad as well. But I would say, without a doubt, Flex Wheeler, for sure. Here's a different style of abs and thigh. And both guys looked, you know, they represented the pose pretty darn good, even in this shot. Flex Wheeler, he's covering the midsection. Could that be, could that be a deciding, deciding uh, factor for me? Could I give this one to Dorian Yates based on that aspect? Well, I guess we'll see. It'll be a surprise. This is the most muscular. Was not a mandatory shot, but it definitely draws out. You know, this is all good for flex. Delts, biceps, triceps. He has some. He has some. Ab for ab here. Dorian looks good. His chest looks good as well. But Flex Wheeler, he probably is winning on both of those aspects. As far as most of the other shots are concerned. And those quads. Any front shot. And I, I don't know. I guess if we had the two side shots, it might be a, a different story. But we don't, gosh darn it. And this is, for fun, this is a pitcher comparison. So, But at the end of the day, I would like to think that I'd make a, a serious decision on this. Dorian Yates, 1997. There's no doubt about it, guys. He was in superior condition. Superior condition. When you look at the glutes... So I know there's going to be people that will definitely argue this decision and say, come on, Marks, you can see clearly Dorian is in better condition. But here is your winner. This is your winner. And in my opinion, the more I look at bodybuilding, I definitely see that 1997 bicep, tricep even of Dorian Yates as a unforgivable offense. <laughs> You could say, for the lack of a better term. As far as giving him the first place. Look at Tom Platt's, guys. Soon as he tore that bicep, the judges placed him way down. And I understand that. It sounds mean. It sounds cruel. But this is bodybuilding. You have a dude standing up there thinking, I have the best body in the world. But, hey, you want to insult his physique? You're going to probably insult his ego more so than his... Than, uh, if you see this as an actual sport, but you got to look at it realistically, Dorian, your, your, your arm, like I said, maybe the worst arm in bodybuilding history. So you cannot give that the first place in my opinion, but obviously the judges did, the judges did. So 
I'm not all bitter about it. I'm not going to argue all day long. But I will say, Flex Wheeler, with that pretty physique, he drew out every weak point in Dorian Yates tenfold. And sure, he was losing in the conditioning, but winning every bloody where else, guys. Hit thumbs up on the video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this, and updates on current events as well. Have a great day.